Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, spoiler alert, I'm still playing. I'm actually <laughs> really kind of enjoying it, and I'll run you guys through a few things and few updates in terms of how my team's progressing and my, my overall box and stuff like that. I'm almost at 77 mil uh, box CC, so I don't want to brag, um, but I'm slowly playing, and as you can see, I've got all the dailies and stuff to go through, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, the one thing that I will say is there's lots of ads <laughs> to watch to get lots of free stuff and because I'm kind of like an insane kind of person that needs to like collect everything and uh, you know clear all the little red dots um, it means I'm gonna have to <laughs> I basically do this every single time I play so look I don't play every day and I think that's also like something that's kind of cool about this game is that okay I'm gonna do my quick 10 uh, 10 times multiplier um, it's cool because I don't have to play every day. Now, obviously, there are, you know, dailies and stuff you want to do. Uh, I don't even know how this works. Ah, oh, damn. Um, you know, so I know there's obviously dailies and stuff um, that you only want to do and things like that, but you don't have to do them. Um, and I don't feel obligated to have to do them either, which is really nice. So, I'm kind of, yeah, still playing. And I'm still cruising along up to stage almost 500, as you guys can see. Um, I've been doing all my draws and things like that, and uh, this is my it's my hero list so far. So the other thing I really, really love about this game is like stuff like this, or you know things like this. And if you guys play Grand Cross, you'll understand what I mean by that. Like even I got another like even that being leg even like you know Hendrickson Grandmaster Hendrickson being leg legendary. I love that. I think that's awesome. Um, but even some of the other ones, like you get Hellbrim, you get all the, um, you know, the different, what are these, what are these guys called? Six Knights of Black as well. Uh, yeah, they're all down here as well. Look, one, two. Deldry, there's another one. But there's a few others that I really like that I got. Like even this, Mutant Holy Knight Dale. I touched on this before, but like it's just, it's it's got more units. Like it's more encompassing than Grand Cross. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like maybe it's easier to build on this, but like... You know, there's... <laughs> I suppose you don't have to worry about passives and all that kind of stuff as well, but it is, it's cool. It's cool that you've got all of them. So that's the currently my team. My current team um, setup is obviously these guys at the top here. I've got eight of them at the moment. Sometimes I put Escanor in just because, um, you know, he's a bit stronger and stuff like that. Um, Artifacts-wise... Oh, no. Wrong one. I will remember Tavern. Here we go. Sacred Treasure. Sacred Treasure, I've got a bunch of Epic Holy Relics, all level 21 or above, which is really cool, so that's really helping my team. I have so many of these to use. I feel like I've just, just did it all um, yesterday, or yeah, probably yesterday. So obviously you do want to do, you know, the dailies and stuff if you can, if you want to, but again, like, I don't, I don't feel obliged to do them. I'm just kind of cruising. So um, one thing I will say, these mini games. This mini game, I'm obsessed with. So basically, the, the whole concept, right, is you you want to stack ones on top of each other that uh, are the same, right? And then what they'll do is they'll merge like that into one. And honestly, this is probably the best thing. I think this is this is. Oh damn! Oh, I stuffed that up. But this is the best mini game, and it's. I think it's because it's also kind of chill like I think one of the things I've realized damn it <laughs> I think one of the things I've realized like I'm not obviously paying attention at the moment is like the mini games in Grand Cross they're <sighs> so gotta bounce bounce good um, they're not as fun and the reason for that is I think because some of them that I don't enjoy as much are the ones that you have to absolutely spam you know what I mean? Like, you have to just absolutely not stop. Like, click, 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 click all around. And I think, like, ones that are like this, which are a bit more chill. Uh oh That's okay. I can fix that. Fix it. There we go. Nice. See, so they're obviously all merging. And then, obviously, like, at the top, it tells you, like... Oh, do it. Good. Um, tells you what ones are coming up and... How to get them together and... I could spend ages doing this. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got this. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And we're going to go boom. We're going to go boom. Roll the right way. Roll the right way. 
bang, there's a Deanne, right? Like, it's just, it's chill, it's fun, and, and, like, it's just, it's just enjoyable. I enjoy going through it and doing this. You get different prizes for obviously getting all the way up. The only one I haven't got yet is a hawk doll, because I need to get two lizards, uh, which I will get to. Um, the other one is, is a little bit more kind of like, um, it's a little bit more like, uh, the ones on Grand Cross, but even then, like, this is a bit more chill. Like, it's just kind of, you've got to click where these things intersect. So, oh, I'm actually doing okay here. Um, so yeah, you kind of want to make sure, ooh, 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 ooh. there we go. So I want to try and get these as quickly as possible. Um, and then that'll help me basically get through this. So click, click, click. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. But anyway, you guys get the idea. I think I, I want, really want to finish this now. So you click in between where these things are. Um, and it allows you to... Oh, I could have got that. Basically, as you level up, right? So these mini games are fun. And just the fact that I can kind of like, you know, level up my tavern slowly but surely. I can do the sacred treasures. Um, you do still have, like I said, PVPs and, and stuff like that. But even PVP is chill. Right, so there's my rank, which is nice. All I need to do is go enter, go set team, I go auto set, <laughs> set team, and then, you know, I've, I'm, I'm much above where I should be, but these are like four or five mil, but I've got like 23 mil. So I just hit challenge, and then I just, oh, the sun is right in my face. And then I just, then I just chill. And I literally just, I'm gonna come forward a little bit so the sun's, up, and I just don't have to worry about it. So. It's really, really fun. Uh, I am really enjoying it, and I think I'll probably keep playing it. Like I said, I probably won't be doing every single daily every single time, um, but I'll still play, and I'll still, when I get a chance to just sit down, I'll do my dailies on Grand Cross, which I won't stop doing, uh, and then I'll just keep doing this and keep working my way through it. Uh, in terms of units and stuff, there's actually like a bunch to summon, obviously, on as well. So you have the normal summons, which you can obviously summon with gems and things as well or you have obviously the different ones that you get guaranteed <laughs> dupes for which is really nice so i've obviously summoned on gelder because i already have escanor um i summoned on i haven't summoned on king because i already have king but i think i am contemplating spending a bit more on escanor because what that does that gives me you these awakening things so you need five dupes to awaken to the next level uh whereas my escanor which again he's, he's sitting on red which I think means he's maxed out. I don't know. I think that's what it means. Um, but obviously I don't have enough dupes to level him up. So you'll slowly start getting more and more dupes for all these that are floating down here. Just like you would in the normal game. And then you even have like this potential thing. Which is like re-rolling gear I believe. So you can just basically re-roll this. So I've got to increase in HP. So it's it's very similar to Grand Cross. It's just, it's just more chill. You know. Oh there we go. Look. And then you've still got Super Awakening as well, and then True Awakening. I love that so much. That's so good. Like, it's basically just taking what is in Grand Cross and just making it chill and not making it as kind of grind-heavy and stuff like that. And, you know, 26,000 gems is not that hard to get to because it's like a game you can just basically pick up whenever you want, right? So, as an update for you guys, this is what my, my box currently looks like. Uh, I've just done a box update video on, on Grand Cross as well, but like I said, I really like the fact that, like, this guy is uh, a legendary. It just means you can have a bit more fun with different units, you know, like Glocks is a legendary. Like, just stuff like this, it means I can build, like, a Grey Road, Hendrickson, Glocks, Zaratras team if I want to. It just gives you a bit more variation than Grand Cross. I sometimes feel like Grand Cross is... Obviously, just the hype units that come out as legendary, and then they just dominate the game. You don't really get a chance to use, you know, break Dreyfus, who I thought was awesome, you know, in the in the beginning, and I thought he was really really cool. So, um, having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I know a few of you guys are actually playing, and some of you mentioned that you're actually playing this more than you're playing Grand Cross. I kind of get it. I get it. You can upgrade your tavern as you go. You get more things to summon on, um, and then yeah, you still have the lab sample dungeon that you can clear through. Um, PvP, you know, you have the Tower of Trials, which I haven't been doing, which you can be doing, but now I can just do this, auto set, and then away we go, right, so, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of the fundamentals of Grand Cross without some of the, obviously you don't have the same level of, like, gameplay and battles and stuff like that, right, and, you know, the, the way it works is you have a timer that ticks down that you have to kill them before that, so sometimes different combinations of teams and, and stuff works well. But yeah, it's it's a mini Grand Cross, and it's a lot of fun. 
I'm about to sneeze, but I think I'll call the video there. Let me know if you guys want to see more stuff on uh, Idol. I'll play more different PvP matches. I can build full PvP teams and stuff like that. I can do similar to what we do on Grand Cross, except on this. Um, I can do a full guide and stuff if you guys want. Let me know down in the comments below, um, and I can I can, I can can sort it out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Another little uh, Idol update. And thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.